the last material I bought probably was in 1961 when I bought a, 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 a solid boots. I uh, usually go out on garbage day, so it's sort of a study, I would almost say. You sort of uh, you're sort of studying what people throw out, and and you get a sense of where there might be very useful things. This this principle applies with clothes. You wear what you find until you find better. And you talk about throwing away. Well, where is a way? There is no way. Everything ends up uh, boomeranging somewhere and, and so on. But the fact is that when you salvage so much stuff, uh, you have to uh, you find better than what you have. So it's a, it's a constant struggle to to do the best you can to recycle the maximum of stuff, you know. Well, I would say it was already the effects of having been a preschooler in the during the uh, depression of the 30s in Saskatchewan and where the depression hit particularly hard and I have very vivid memories of uh, at that time uh, of how they may do with absolute minimum and we have to feed the soil if it's going to feed us back so the, the, the richness of the compass uh, that I've been making for decades is uh, partly thanks to that I, I, give, I put all my urine there and get any and most visitors accept not always some visitors just won't accept that idea and in the paper recycling bin someone had put a muffin you see or part of, the, part of a muffin perfectly edible so I'm so I brought it home to eat it up. There, one can with one's teeth, scrape off the crumbs off the muffin, and what's left, there's still some food stuck to the paper. We should just do without what we don't find and then try to imagine uses for all the stuff we do find.